Meet a real patient tutor. My Atari computer. I love it. I'll have you know old Fumblefingers here learn to type with Atari's touch typing program at my own pace from very slow to very fast. In private, just my Atari computer system and me. Ta-da! This is Atari podcast. This is Antic, the Atari 8-Bit Podcast. I'm Kevin Savitz. Brooke Alderson was an actor in the 1980s and 1990s. She appeared in several television shows, including Murder, She Wrote and Family Ties, and is perhaps best known for her role as Aunt Corrine in the 1980 film Urban Cowboy. She also appeared in many TV commercials. She did a 30-second spot for Atari home computers and was featured on Atari's in-store point-of-purchase Laserdisc. In the commercial, Brooke played the part of a mom who is teased by her teenage daughter for not knowing the states and capitals. By the end of the commercial, having learned from her Atari 400 computer, she can quickly and correctly name the capitals. Atari brings the computer age home. Okay, Ma, what's mm. the capital of Nebraska? Mm. Mm. Oh, come on, come on. Learn geography or get your jump shot on target. With Atari Home Computers, anything's possible. In fact, they just might be the wisest investment you'll ever make. Watch this. Hey, Mom. Hmm. What's the capital of Delaware? Uh, Dover. I told you she's smart. Atari Home Computers. We brought the computer age home. On Atari's Electronic Retail Information Center Laserdisc, Brooke also played the part of a mom who extols the virtues of Atari's educational software, with an emphasis on Scram, Atari's nuclear power plant simulation, and My First Alphabet, software for teaching letters and numbers to small children. For instance, you can use the Atari computer as your own private tutor to help you learn, even a foreign language. Parlez-vous français? (laughs) How about that? Well, you can learn to type or even learn how to run a nuclear power plant or how not to run a nuclear power plant. It's a science lesson you'll never forget. This interview took place on July 2nd, 2018. I was an actress in New York and uh, doing commercials and this is just one of over 200 and some odd I did. So Mm -hmm. I'm I'm fairly hazy on um, the things, but I I did a lot of work in... um, uh, commercials, and then I did stand up for a bit, and um, just to keep me going and and fresh, um, waiting for other jobs. And um, uh, finally went out to LA and got um, a film or two, and uh, did a television series, and and then um, uh, the most popular film I did was Urban Cowboy. I sure. played the aunt in Urban Cowboy, and. Um, then I, the last film I did, I was really trying to get uh, out of it. You know, I didn't want to act anymore. So I um, started doing flea markets and things like that to sort of inform myself, and I traveled a lot and uh, about what people might buy if I opened a little shop. And um, finally, I retired in um, 96. Uh, my last movie was Just Cause with Sean Connery, and... Um, and then I opened a little store in a town called Andes, New York, in upstate New York, where my husband and I have a second home. And um, uh, it was the most wonderful time of my life. I retired uh, a couple of years ago when my grandson was born because I wanted to be a grandma. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, and uh, he's now 12, I guess. And um, I've just started... Act three, uh, doing um, a mini golf course based on the Rip Van Winkle story on a field that I have in Bovina, New York. And uh, we're right in the middle of building that. So that's it in a nutshell. (laughs) All right, so I'm going to go completely out of order of what I planned to ask you. You you mentioned the mini golf, so we'll just jump into that. And that's just like, when I talked to you last week, you said that you were spending the weekend finishing testing on on the mini golf course. So (laughs) how do you you test a mini golf course? Well, (laughs) it's totally unplayable, we've learned. (laughs) The edging is too too short. 
so you know, I mean, you you see uh, what problems you run into, and there's there's a problem with it's the most complicated thing you cannot imagine, and we're making it up as we go along. So it's um, uh, you know, it's real trial and error on our parts, but. Um, you know, sometimes when they pour the cement, it's, it has to be very level so that the ball doesn't come back or go forward or, you know. And then if you hit it too hard now because the edging is too low, the ball pops off the green and that kind of thing. And so there are many, many, uh, many flaws to what we're doing, <laughs> and we're just, but, but repairable, so we're not panicked yet. Sounds like a fun project. It's, oh, it's, a, oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so great, and it's really... Um, it's really like an art installation more than anything else. I mean, we're really sort of approaching it that way. And uh, I'm working with Scott Hill, who is um, an artist and designer and has worked with Ralph Lauren for years and now is um, doing this project. And I think he's, you know, it's, he's just phenomenal. So um, anyway, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> Good. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so getting back to the Atari commercial, I know you did mm-hmm. a lot of commercials, and this was probably just a couple of days out of your life. So, but do you remember how you got the gig? Was this like your agent calls you up and says, "Hey, you know, being offered commercial," or how does it work? Well, I was with uh, an agency called Cunningham and Associates, and um, they were they were top of the line agents, and they would just send me out on auditions, you know. But they had they got all the calls, so I got a lot of auditions and. Um, and I just went in and read for the company. I don't even remember who produced it, to tell you the truth, what the agency was that did. Do you know? No, I don't. You know, like, um, I don't know, J. Walter Thompson or something. Um, but anyway, we, I think we went to New Jersey or upstate New York or a suburb, a suburban place, and, um, and shot it. And I guess it was two days because I don't even remember the in-store Thing. I, the only thing I remember is coming out the door and naming a, you know, being incredibly smug about the information that I had discovered on, on the computer. That was it. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't remember, I know you sent me pictures of um, the people who were in it, and mm-hmm. I, I don't remember them either. So, hmm. you know, I'm, I'm a great interview, right? <laughs> like, so was this in, a, in an actual... Uh, like a home or or, or, or yeah or, okay you yeah no it was in um it was in a really nice house in I think it maybe Westchester or something I mean they wanted really to nail the kind of um, you know even what I'm wearing that I saw you know is just not what old boho me would wear um, but it's very sort of suburban middle class mm-hmm. I think that was the target uh, people yeah. So did you know anything about computers going into this? Not a thing. And I, I, you know, I can text and I can do all that stuff, but I really don't know. I'm very, my daughter is a whiz at it. And um, uh, she, uh, you know, sets up apps for me and all of that stuff. I'm really of the, you know, the wrong generation for this. <laughs> so so go- I mean, I'm, I'm very codependent on a lot of people. For <laughs> I I know, I know people like you, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I do too. <laughs> and everybody my age. So going into this, I mean, you, you talk a lot of uh, kind of some technical stuff about the computer software. You just, you just learned the script and that was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, no, just um, by the seat of my pants. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what I was doing, you know. Yeah. It, it, yeah. But I, I could, I didn't know how to drive once, and I did a Volkswagen commercial. I didn't, I knew sort of how to drive, but I didn't have a license. And I, you know, and I got on the set, and I realized that might be important. <laughs> it's like, anyway, I got through it. Yeah. But, all right. Um, so, um, are any particular memories of of those those days shooting? I, I know it was a long time ago, and don't remember who the people uh, are, but just anything that you know springs to mind. Well, I I uh, I love doing commercials. It was, uh, you know, first of all, it's the best training for an actor to know the ca- to learn the camera and how the camera works. And um, and it was lovely. I mean, everybody was just, you know, terrific and very professional. And everyone went about doing their jobs, and you know, no problems. I mean, I've had problems with other shoots, but this was 
this was really smooth sailing. So, um, no, I hate. I wish I had some gossip, but I don't. <laughs> I have other gossip, but, but not not for this. Okay. Um, let's see. So, as far as I know, you were kind of in two separate things, and they may have been shot at the same time. One was the commercial where your your daughter is uh, uh, is teasing you about not knowing your states and right. capitals. That one I remember. Okay. So, I mean, that, that I, I remember that one. I do not remember the sort of in-store thing at all. In hmm. fact, I'm really shocked to learn that there was one. And I'm sure I shot. I mean, obviously, I shot the thing, but I don't... Um, uh, it's it's really a blank for me, and I was even looking at it, and you know, in the picture you sent, and I, I just didn't recognize it. I do vividly remember the states and capitals one, you oh. know, in terms of of um, where it was and how we shot it and stuff. But um, uh, but the other, it's, that's so interesting to me because why can't I remember that? Huh, that's weird. <laughs> and that would have been a weird one, I think, just uh, unusual one because you would have had shots where you just like literally have a scene that where you go, you press the wrong key, try again. And, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because it was, because it would automatically, you know, change the, the scene based on, on what, what the user touched on the computer. Yeah. Just press the letter that's next to the program you'd like to try. Try again. Press the A or S that's next to the program you'd like to try. But I, I mean, I am sure they told me you know, what to push and what not, because I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, that's really the truth. It's like, sure. I don't know. I mean, I had never seen a computer before. Wow. So, um, yeah. all right, so you said you vividly remember the states and capitals one. So tell me anything you can remember about that. I mean, how, how well, long maybe, did that take? Oh, or I don't know. Yeah, it just it took a day. And um, uh, I, uh, that's, you know, I I remember coming through a door and being smug, and um, and maybe I'm making that up, but I don't think so. So, um, I wish I could be more helpful. No, no, this is I great. Really, yeah, no, I mean, I just, uh, it's just, you know, you remember the bad ones. You don't remember the good ones so much. <laughs> all right, well, you've, you've, all right, so without... <laughs> Reveal. You don't have to reveal anything you don't want to reveal, but t- tell me uh, just about a, a bad shoot that, that happened. A bad oh, commercial. God. I, let me count the ways. I got fired during the middle of shooting one, and it was such a nightmare, and they were so mean. And it was... I did an audition where um, they were not timing anything or doing... It was for... Oh, God, what was it for? Um, I remember the, it, it was for some kind of candy... And um, I was supposed to pick up the phone and grab some horrible candy from my son and say your mouth is a disaster area or something, all at the same, and within two seconds or something. Mm-hmm. And I was so new at it, you know, I didn't, I just was desperately trying to do it, and it was something, I mean, it was hundreds, it felt like hundreds of takes, but it was way too much. So during lunch, they... Um, called in an actor and um uh and i got to watch him do my part (laughs) so because they wouldn't send me home either Mm -hmm. and um but you know as humiliating and horrible as it was it was so informative because this guy came in and he said you can't do it that way i didn't know you could say that you know and um he said you know move this in closer uh do this, drop this line, and that's, you know, they did it, and he did it in, like, three takes. But, of course, I was so naive. I, I was a people pleaser and sort of jumping through hoops And when um, I did have a say and didn't know it. So, and wouldn't have, certainly at that time in my life, I wouldn't have said anything anyway. I would have just been humiliated. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, it, the next time I shot a commercial, it was wonderful. It was for Saran Wrap. Those were my first two commercials. And um, and they were great, and I was much more relaxed because I knew I could, you know, change things around to make it com- make myself more comfortable and make it work. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so you know, you live and learn. Yeah, <laughs> all true. Yeah, and I guess you know it's important to be humiliated once in a while. 
Yes, that's how you learn things, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know. Painful, though, it may be. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And I haven't stopped being humiliated. I oh. mean, you know, <laughs> well, many get, times. Get through the mini golf thing, and then it'll all be uh, smooth sailing from there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get that edging up. Right. Mm. All right. Is there anything I, I haven't asked you about that time that I should have? Um, well, you don't, I, I can't think of anything. I, you know, I just sort of have been moving from one thing to another. So, um, it's, uh, you know, but, but I've, I spent 25 years doing it and then I spent another 15, you know, doing the shop. So anyway, it's been, it's been a pretty, I haven't been cheated. Let me put it that way. (laughs) Good. Excellent. Well, I have what I need. Thank you so much for your time, Brooke. Okay, well, thanks so much. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. If you enjoy these interviews and would like to contribute, there are two ways you can help. You can help fund these interviews directly by contributing to my Patreon. A small monthly contribution will help offset the expenses of making these oral history interviews. Contribute at patreon.com slash savits. Or make a tax-deductible contribution to the Internet Archive, a nonprofit digital library that has done incredible things to preserve computer history. Make your tax-deductible contribution at archive.org slash donate. Thanks.